Right now in the house, I believe you need, put up a graphic if you have it about the balance of power, uh, 246, 186. 246, 186, that's the current state of play. Now, in the house, the Democrats need 30 seats. Right. Is there an argument that they're going to get them? Unlikely a real one. Happen. Unlikely to happen. I mean, because? unlikely to happen. But you could see uh, Democrats pick up somewhere between 20 and 25 seats, right, which would be a huge improvement from where they have been, of course. Republicans would still control the chamber by five seats. And quite frankly, that's enough for them to control the chamber. What it could do, though, is that it could weaken uh, Paul Ryan, who, of course, is going to run for speaker again, or what we expect he's going to run for speaker again. But it could weaken him where he could be drawn to the more conservative side of his caucus, which would be actually bad for him. But it doesn't change any of the chairmanships, doesn't Absolutely change any not. of the committees. So the way the wheels turn would stay the same. Absolutely. All right. So now on the Senate side, uh, let's take a look at what we have there. Ah, there it is. The <laughs> TV is back. 54-44. Right. Uh, now, there's been all this talk about how Trump can affect down ballot. But when I was looking at these races to get ready for this, a lot of these Republicans seem solid to well, me. So, so a couple of things, right? So 54, actually 46, because two of these independents right. actually uh, are with Democrats. So Democrats would need a, let's assume Hillary, let's all on the assumption Hillary Clinton wins, okay? That means all they would need is a net gain of four to control the chamber. That would get them to 50-50, and Tim Kaine, who is the vice president, is really the Senate of the president. He would be the deciding vote. However, yeah. okay, however, is that with Tim Kaine leaving, that means they're going to have to appoint somebody to his seat, and then they're going to have to have a special election. And quite frankly, in 2017, Republicans could maybe win back the chamber in 2017. But to your point, there are some, uh, so some folks, such as Marco Rubio in Florida, who's looking at split ticketing and you know, probably will win.